Now, Big Board Sports with Roger Wyland. Well, busy time of the year for local high school sports and hashtag Raj on the road today. We were in Mechanicville for a Wasser League matchup with Greenwich. The Red Raiders come in undefeated at 11-0. Greenwich good there at 6-4. And William Carino got the start for Mechanicville. And the Brockport-bound senior settles in early, gets a strike out there. Mechanicville helped out Carino with a three-run third. This is John but a door, Dorwick uh, lifting a sack fly into right field. Scott Lynch tags from third. Scott slides in safely. Raiders are up 3-1. to one. Top of the fifth, Carino hits an athletic play here. Comes off the mound, throws in time to get Keegan Clayton, and no runs are in. Carino goes the distance on a four-hitter, and Mechanicville goes to 12-0 overall. 11-0 in the Western League with a 5-1 win over Greenwich. These guys are great. Um, the momentum they bring, the leadership that they bring to the table um, is fantastic. It's unparalleled. Um, I've had a lot of fun. I give all the credit to them. Um, they really want to go out and fight. They want to win. I just felt good when I was throwing pitches, but I got great eight people behind me playing defense. And when we step on the field, we're all dogs. I know I got my guys behind me, so we're fine. What about that curveball today? I saw that get a few out. Yeah, it was working a little bit, but they can't touch it, so <laughs> it <worked. laughs> Guys like to hear that. This curveball was good today. I was right there watching it behind home plate. On the uh, Caledon Industry scoreboard, here are the scores today. Saratoga knocks off Bethlehem. That's their first loss of the year. 2-1. to one. Niskew to 1 at Avery Park. 6-2. to two. CBA 8-4 at Shaker. And Colony gets a road win at Troy. 4-2. to two. And for the rest of all the reported scores from high school sports, log on to our WNYT website and look for the Caledon Industry scoreboard. Marquee matchup up in the American League East Monday between the top two teams. The first place New York Yankees opening up a four-game series in Baltimore against the Orioles. Clark Schmidt got the start for the Yankees and his one blemish is going to be right here. Gunnar Henderson. Boy, can this kid hit. Lead off home run in the bottom of the first inning and that thing is in orbit. And after scoring 30 runs between Saturday and Sunday in Milwaukee, the Yankees are shut out for the fifth time this season. They put 10 runners on base Stranded all of them. Grayson Rodriguez went five and two thirds for the win for Baltimore. All right, Luis Severino <laughs> takes a no hitter into the eighth inning and finishes with eight strong. But the Mets lost the game. Edwin Diaz gave up a two run homer to Christopher Morell in the ninth. The Mets drop to 14 and 14 and drop to two straight series. NBA playoffs tonight. Celtics take commanding three game one series lead with a win at Miami and the Seas can clinch in Boston on Wednesday night. Post positions have been drawn for Saturday's 150th, uh, 50th running of the Kentucky Derby at Churchill Downs. And we talked about Mechanicville. How about Mechanicville trainer Chad Brown? He's got the morning line second choice on Saturday. Sierra Leone, winner of the Bluegrass Stakes, is the morning line 3-1. to one. Sierra Leone uh, is a nose away from being undefeated in his four career starts. Chad Brown and jockey Tyler Gaffalione are seeking their first derby wins uh, just a touch for Brad Cox long odds 10 to 1 but if you're looking for a payday on derby day that might be worth a couple of bucks the 5-2 favorite in the field is fierceness trained by Todd Pletcher ridden by Johnny Velasquez post position number 17 for a three-year-old that won the Florida Derby by 13 and a half lengths post five and post 10 have produced more victories uh, since the Kentucky Derby began and if you want a lot of coverage Join us on NBC and right here on News Channel 13 at 2.30 leading up to the race. People make a day mm -hmm. out of watching the coverage. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can see why. And it's, they make a day out of even going down there to the yeah. track, too. It's gorgeous. Watch a little coverage. Get on your phone. Place a bet. Place another bet. <laughs> That's what we want to win some you, money. Because you're trying to tell us who to put well, the money just, on, right, Woody? I just gave you one long shot. Oh, thank yeah. you. Well, now yeah. we'll need to know if we're going to have rain when the derby comes, too, huh? Rain showers overnight, Steve, unfortunately, and we're tracking scattered showers for the day tomorrow as well. Also tracking a few isolated rumbles of thunder with temperatures seasonable in the upper 60s. We dry out on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with temperatures in the lower 70s and upper 60s. Looking good. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. Stay